What's up YouTube? I know it's been a long time. I'm sorry. Some unexpected things happen. But uh this is one thing I did score on. Pontoon boat. Um It looks sturdy. Really nice haul. Um, but what's unique about this, no motor. It's uh, two 50 pounds of thrust motors run by, yeah, a solar panel that uh, mounts on those two things above the awning. The awning's not ripped or anything. I bought this thing for 1,200 bucks hell of a good deal just for that and those batteries underneath let alone it has a ladder to those oh there's two motors it has stereo system back there yeah dinky ass spare tire there's actually two of them um, it's a project for sure fix that um, but my plans are to make this into a bug out boat a lot of people don't think about this a lot of people aren't going to be in the water there's fish there there's uh, ducks flying up in the air there's food there I mean, hell all I need to do is put them out right here and right here <laughs> barbecue have a propane yeah you're gonna have to have a storage about that and I'm still thinking how I'm gonna do that but I mean, if anything, I'll make another solar one. <laughs> Go all solar, right? Um, this thing is going to be definitely a big project. But, uh, here, I'll show you how these things work. Um, these are, each one of the motors, the left and right motor, you click them down for gears, and you click them up for reverse. That's how you're steering right now. And I might put antlers on there for a bigger uh, grip, I guess. Some sort of harness, I guess. Um, there's the steering wheel mount. There's the steering wheel. I'm going to fix that shit. I'm going to have the throttle control like that still. But I'm going to have the steering wheel so I can just like cruise around and be like, Yeah, you're jealous. <laughs> um... For when I'm towing it, there are four brake lights that are attached to the boat. Same with blinkers and running lights. These are old motorcycle brakes. Brake lights. <laughs> this guy was clever. I do have to give him that. Uh, here's the mounts for the motor. He did bolt it so nobody could just take off with it. I'm thinking about making this into some sort of live well or something, but I don't like the big drop off to get there. So I might make a ramp to make it into a live ramp or something. Live well. Ugh, sorry. Long day. Um, see, those things are huge. And, you know, but they always say you can have a party down there. <laughs> um, the paint job has to go. That's gay. I'm sorry. I am going to do two lease. I'm going to do paint job on this. Fuck that. Um, what else haven't I really discovered? Um, those are two boxes. Oh, stereo system. I'm going to redo it. Um, two boxes, but I'm going to make another one that uh, pretty much I'm going to seal off these so I can make a box for that stereo system so it won't fall down anymore. And then these come out. I don't really like that part because I don't like sliding stuff on carpet. It's difficult. Um, I'm thinking about making another box, but have this part be big enough for my fishing rods and have like this much come up, lift up, put your fishing rods in, close it, and then lift this whole thing up so you can just get in and lift. That's just an idea. A uh, little push button interior lights but uh this thing's pretty slick oh here's the mounts for the ladder to get in 
And the only problem is, yeah, I used to have a 1988 Skeeter bass boat. It's going to be different putting this thing on this trailer. I do have to admit that it is going to be a pain. Um, the carpet ripped coming up here. Now, here's the batteries. Here. Maybe I can show you without ripping the whole thing off. Or not. Oh, this is difficult with one hand. As all YouTubers know. There we go. Four solar batteries. And there's the solar panel. It's one big fucking panel. And I take this box, okay? That fits four batteries. Now, kind of compare it. That's one big box. The guy made it into like two bench seats. I'm gonna redo that. Um, pole holders. Now, I am going to make a mount about like right here. Yeah, like right there. So I can uh, still bass fish. I'm not really a trout fisherman, but you know, it provides food. Plus right now the gas is so much that you have to go solar. And there's not that many of them here. But I'm gonna put a 50 pound thrust motor up there so I can steer from up here and back there if I want had to. Yeah, right there. Um, little lights, I'm gonna redo them with some KCs or something. Um, but this awning's like brand new. My CC it still bends and everything, it's fine. Uh, there's that, the two speakers. I'm kind of thinking about putting a couple more in here. We'll see how loud those are. I mean, you kind of want a party boat, right? <laughs> if you're going to get one of these. But I always think prep. Like I said, there's always fish, ducks on the water. So, if I had to, really had to, I could just put a cot right here, put the kitchen up front, and have these for dry boxes or whatnot. Those are not going to be there. I'm going to redo them. But solar, that's what's going to save us, unless an EMP goes off like everybody thinks is going to happen. Hopefully not. Hopefully. Um, but what's nice about these, they will still go, even if you don't have solar. I mean, yeah, the worst thing happens, you're going to have to push it. Well, row it. Yeah, it's one big downfall. Now, here, I'll show you even closer now. These things, see, if I put like an antler, it'll be a lot easier to uh, control the speed. Or a shotgun shell, be real redneck. Might do that. But I want to get, we're going to have the steering wheel, you know, like, do the speed up there and then just cruise. It does have a depth finder. There's the mount right there. Thing's pretty cool. I think it's an eagle. Um, once again, KC light. I'm thinking about replacing that one and putting another one over there. So I have like headlights. The one downfall about this thing is uh, the guy didn't have those lights so you could drive at night. He used flashlights. <laughs> with uh, like green and red plastic covers for them and a white one back there. I'm gonna redo that, fix that problem. Uh, yeah, I will keep you updated for sure, guys. I'm so sorry that it's been so late, but uh, I'm still here for you guys and hopefully you guys are here for me too. Um, please give me any advice on this stuff. I'm always open for ideas. I want to see what's out there. I want to see what you crazy minds can think of. Alright, fuck 2012 out.